Hi, I'm Flavor D and you're watching Blade Runners TV. So hi, welcome to Budapest Festival already. How are you tonight? Thank you. Uh, I'm really good, yeah. First time in Budapest, so I'm excited for the show. That's great, that's great. The UKG album that you made with uh, Royalty and DJ Q is out now. Yep. Um, how were the tunes made? Who was responsible for what? Um, it, every tune's different. Um, I mean, we have a very equal input. For example, like Vibes and Ting, it was Q and Mark, Mark Royalty. They started like the drums, they did a lot of the bass, and then I did like the keys. And then, then Q would add like the vocals on top, and then then they would give me their bass, and then on the third drop, like I do my input. I mean, that's an example of one track how we made it. But then on another day, if I might start something, send it to Q or show Q, and they'd be like, okay, I'm gonna put some drums to that. Mark's gonna add his bit, and uh, yeah, it's just just working like that with our, our ind individual inputs. The letter to Easy tune is obviously for DJ Easy. Uh, is he a big inspiration for you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I, I've been listening to him since I was 15 years old when he has like the CDs, Pure Garage. So, yeah, he, he's one of the main people that got me into Garage when I was young. So, yeah, big respect to Easy. Butters is a grime label and you come from Garage. So, how did this hookup happen? Um, it, I mean, Butters is mainly a grime label, but you know, the past few releases they've been different. I mean, we've had Swindle, which is more jazzy, more experimental. You know, me and Mark, me and Royalty, we released On My Mind. If you if you remember that a few years ago, that was the first garage release that they did. And um, yeah, I mean, I think Elijah and Skillium are way more open to what they release nowadays, and it's not not just grime. Just, just good music that fits within the spectrum of, you know, like garage, grime, bassline, that kind of stuff. There are two boys in TQD uh, <laughs> and even more at Butters. How yeah. do you cope with them? Does it even matter, in your opinion, whether you're a girl or boy in the world of music? Nah, I'm, I'm one of the guys, you know. It, it's like, I'm like their little sister. I mean, sometimes, you know, I'm a girl, I take longer to get ready and they'll be like, come on, hurry up. I'm like, I've got to do my hair, I've got to do my makeup. Um, and you know, sometimes the guys can be boisterous, but I think we have a nice balance and like, yeah, I mean, I'm just like one of them and we, we all have fun. Grime and Garage is really popular again. Uh, what yeah. do you think, what's the reason people are getting into this? Um, well, obviously, I mean, Grime's had a big a big like explosion of you know like Stormzy, Skepta, which really helps. Um, and Garage, there's been a lot of new talent emerging over the last couple of years, and then it's just been getting back into the like the limelight again. And I think it's just new talent breaking through with good music, and then eventually it's been you know people are discovering it and get more into it and. Um, I think like social media, people upload videos from a gig and when it looks like crazy and good and it, it circulates online and people get like intrigued by it and they want to go see it and they want to go see that person. So, yeah. So you're a big fan of caps. Uh, yeah. How many do you have in your collection? <laughs> wow, um, over a hundred. Do you have a favorite one? No, no. Or is I it mean, just hard to choose? I, it's like, do I have a favourite black one? Do I have a favourite blue? Uh, so there are many favourites. I like black leather. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with black leather. This is one of them. One of my favourite hats, definitely. Alright. Um, any final words you want to say? Um, yeah, of course. Um, thank you to everyone, you know, like fans that have checked out the album recently. Um, yeah, just people that are spreading the sound, spreading the word. Um, yeah, just just for all the support and the, the deep, like the promoters that are getting DJs like myself in places like here that are bringing the sound to the people. So, yeah.